Hey, thanks for tuning in to Twang and Bang. Whether you call them tactical pants, operator pants, mall ninja pants, or my personal favorite, shoot me first pants, the multi-pocket pants of today have come a long way from the cargo pants of the 80s. I'm going to show you the features that make these so practical, as well as put them through a torture test you're not going to want to miss. And that's what's coming up next on Twang and Bang. These are the Tac Light Pro Pant from 511. Now, don't let the light and the name fool you. They're made of a very durable fabric. It's a 65% polyester, 35% cotton ripstop. These pants have eight pockets, which I find is kind of like wearing a fanny pack made out of pants. It helps me to organize the things I carry with me in my ordinary day. I've got my wallet in this pocket. I always carry some Fox pepper spray with me in this pocket. I keep my smartphone in this pocket here. I keep my keys in this pocket. I put my knife in the back slash pocket here. I also carry with me a GoPro camera in case things get awesome and I need to record it. I always carry a set of operator gloves and shooting glasses just in case I need extra safety. You never know when you might be meeting that someone special so I always carry a full-size toothbrush and plenty of toothpaste. If things get really bad, I have extra magazines. I can always carry my 12-round Saiga magazine, as well as my 32-round 9mm stick mag for my Glock 17. You can never have too many AR magazines. And when things get really bad, I always have my tomahawk. One of the really cool features about these pants is the reinforcement that they have at the bottom edge of all the slash pockets on both the right side and the left side. It's of course there for you to clip something like a knife. It's not just for added durability, but it also is made out of a very slick material that makes it very easy to slip your knife into your pocket. This is where the review gets really interesting, but I have to show you a pretty cool feature about these pants. They've got a pants keeper button that holds your pants up while you tuck in your shirt or maybe your inside the waistband holster so that you don't have to worry about your pants hitting the floor. The fabric's also treated with DuPont Teflon for stain resistance. What does this really mean? We're going to put it to the jelly donut and coffee test to find out. <laughs> okay. Here goes nothing. Oh, oh that's hot. Oh. God, that's hot. Oh, I feel like I'm wetting myself. <laughs> that is so weird. Uh, well, it is beating. <laughs> oh. Well... Here are the pants after just wiping it off with a, a towel. I mean, you can still see my shirt's still wet from just doing this. And sure enough, there's no sign of coffee on it anywhere. And there's just a little bit of staining from the jelly donut, which I bet will come out in the wash. Well, that's, that's amazing. I think it really passed the stain test really well, as well as you could expect, for sure. There's another feature about these pants that I want to test, and that's this. 511 calls it the utility strap, but a number of first responders have asked online whether or not this could be used as a drag handle. We're going to load these pants up to see if it can pass the test. Well, I got the pants loaded up with 180 pounds of dumbbells. And standing in for your internet addicted butt is Undead Fred. 
We're going to drag them around a bit and see if the butt handle holds up to the task. Ugh. Stick with me, Fred. We just need to get you to that Colonel Sanders looking dude. He'll take care of you. I told you if you're going to play cards with Daryl Dixon, you needed to let him win. still have 180 pounds of dumbbells in here. Let's keep dragging. I think it worked really well. I mean there wasn't even creaking or any sound of any seams popping or stitches popping at all. That's a tough handle. Well, the butt handle did all right. Did a whole lot better than Undead Fred here. But we did grind a lot of dirt into the back of these pants. We're gonna have to see if that comes out when we wash these later. Next test we're gonna do is to test the durability of all of these super tough belt loops. I find it really annoying when my belt loops pop on my pants. But let's see if these belt loops can support my body weight. <laughs> oh man, they're doing it. <laughs> oh, painful, but I think they survived. <laughs> well, I wish I had a dollar for every time someone said to me, I used to be a YouTuber like you, but then I took Bob Y and the Nate. They were wearing 5'11 tack light pants, they would have been covered. They have a pocket built into them that allows you to put knee pad inserts. You can get them straight from 5'11, but I found these knee pad inserts from Lowe's that come $4 for a pair work just fine. Just to prove the point, I'm going to take some barbed wire to the knee and we're going to test the stop in the ripstop fabric. So it took a lot to actually make that hole. And uh, I, I don't know, man. I, there, that's going to take a lot of effort to make that hole bigger. So it's, it's rip stop, not rip don't start. But that's really effective rip stop. So we've shown that the fabric is resistant to ripping. But what about abrasion? Let's find out. My butt's getting warm. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. I hope people watch this. cool off. <laughs> Holy cow. It's going to be a thousand degrees. <laughs> Rip through a pocket. Our work. Whoa. 
That's my whole driveway. And uh, you can see better than I can. Oh, made it all the way through right there. Blew through this pocket. But overall, I think that worked out pretty well. <laughs> so that's what scooting down a driveway on your butt will do to these pants. But it, it wore through only one layer of the fabric. It wore through the stitching, which is why it split here. But even on this side, it didn't even make it through the top layer of fabric. That's pretty impressive. The last thing I'm going to test is the flammability of this material. I've got a Burns-O-Matic propane torch. Let's see what it does. I can smell it melting. It smells like roast marshmallows. <laughs> but it's not catching on fire. That said, there's one other thing I need to test. Whether you're at the firehouse or on a stakeout or in the hunting cabin, when things get slow, somebody always decides to do a blue dart. And for your safety, I'm going to make sure that your pants will not set on fire. Let's see what happens. <laughs> there you go. Blue dart. <laughs> so here they are after just being washed one time according to the instructions and I'm blown away. I mean there's no sign whatsoever of that jelly donut stain that was right here. Of course the coffee we had already known it just brushed right off with the towel. But here's what's really amazing. Look at the back of the pants. There was dirt ground into this with a 50 pound dumbbell and a 20 pound dumbbell and a 10 pound dumbbell during that, that dummy drag that I did. And it is all gone. There's no sign of it whatsoever. And here's the thing. These have already been washed about 10 times. And so that means that the, the stain resistance of these is really persistent. It lasts a very long time. So there you go, the Tac Light Pro Pant from 5.11. They're only 50 bucks and they come in a bunch of different colors. I really can't imagine a better value in a pant for somebody who's really active. They got a lot of resistance to tearing, to wear, and to staining. Ooh. You weren't supposed to see that. Um, if you like this video, be sure to click the like button and let YouTube know. It really helps me out. Be sure to subscribe so you can catch my other videos on bows and guns and other cool things like these pants right here. I really appreciate you watching Twang and Bang, and I hope to see you next time.